Hey everybody, it's me, Zach. This is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Jingle bells, jingle bells, sing for me, baby. Baby. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and I'm back again to cover the old Amberlynn Reed over here on my channel today. She is on day eight of Vlogmas, so she's sticking to it. She means it, she means business. And if you didn't know, I took a break yesterday. <laughs> we, we did a little reaction video to Amberlynn's favorite vlogger, Pink Sparkles, who I'd never heard of. So if you're interested in learning more about Pink Sparkles, I took a look at her, one of her Vlogmas videos, and also like saw some comparisons, made some notes on, on the similarities between Amberlynn and old Pink Sparkles. So if that is of interest, I'll leave it linked in a pinned comment along with all the other videos and the one live stream I did this week so you can get all caught up on all of your favorite Zachary Michael videos because I have been posting a lot during Vlogmas, even though I'm not doing Vlogmas. I also want to apologize if this is coming to you a bit later on this Friday evening because uh, this morning, well, I took my dogs to the groomer, if you can't tell. Look at little Judy Lou Who. She finally doesn't look like a mop. And also I got caught in like a YouTube rabbit hole of Patti Lapone performances, which turned into Kristen Chenoweth performances. And you know, sometimes you just get distracted. So I will try to do my best to recap all the things that we haven't covered or we missed while I took a break. And then we'll also react to her latest day eight Vlogmas video. And I'll leave timestamps so you can just jump around to whatever interests you the most, or you could just always watch the whole entire video, of course. Of course! So, before we get into the recap of Vlogmas Day 7, I did just want to make a note that she is back to her Instagram Q&A business. She has changed her Instagram name in recent history. I know some people miss that, and I don't know that I ever explicitly talked about it in a video, but she did make a community tab post letting people know that she updated her Instagram. So now it's, hi, I'm Bambi, or something like that, some bullshit like that. And in this Q&A, she literally is like, I'll probably change it again. And so I don't know, like, from a marketing perspective, if she really wants people to be able to find her on all of her social media, I don't think she understands the concept that when she's constantly changing social media handles, it's hard for people to find you. That's why on everything, for me right now, on everything, you can find me at the Zachary Mike. Because I was like, if you're going to find me on Instagram, I want you to easily be able to find me on TikTok, the Twitter, the Twitch. <laughs> so you can follow me there and all of those things. And honestly, the only interesting things about this Q&A, in my opinion, were one, that the whole reason she's doing it is because she's traveling somewhere. I'm like, where are y'all traveling? Where are y'all traveling that you're going to be in a car for a while? Because last I heard, well, I think people were speculating that she's no longer friends with Eric and Ricky. So it's just like, where are you going? But hopefully, I guess maybe we'll find out in a, in a vlog, in tomorrow's vlog, today's vlog, the vlog that gets posted today. But the only other thing that I thought was interesting is somebody asked who her least favorite reaction channel was. And allegedly, after recent events, she's decided to no longer watch reaction channels. And it has been so refreshing and a positive change for my mental clarity. And I hope that's, well, one, I hope that's true. I hope that's true, because that's always been my suggestion to her. I don't understand why she sought out that content when it clearly makes her unhappy and not in a great place. So I'm glad she's come to that decision. We'll see how long it lasts. But two, I guess that only goes for Amber Lynn Reed reaction channels and not the Chantal reaction channels, because like she just said in a recent video, she was in old Kaya Life Simons, Kaya Simons Life. She was in she was in that 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 woman's live stream wishing her a happy birthday. So <laughs> I guess I guess we're still okay with the old with the old Chantal reaction channels. It's just that the Amberlynn Reed reaction channels we're not doing anymore. But that's really, I mean, there were other things, I guess, that might be of interest, just not of interest to me. <laughs> just not of interest to old Zachary Michael. Now, Vlogmas Day 7 was called Arguing on Camera, Donation Shopping, and New 4X Pants Tree 
Vlogmas, day seven. And honestly, I, I haven't thought about this prior to filming. I do have notes about the video in general, but as I was reading that out, I'm like, what part of that was arguing on camera? I do not remember there being any arguing, although I do recall in, in recent videos, she was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna put our arguments on camera because people are like, your, your relationship seems so fake and not authentic. And she was like, well, I'm not going to show us arguing on camera. So I don't know if that was like her attempt to try to make it seem like the relationship was genuine. But I also don't really remember them arguing. They like played Jenga and went back and forth. I guess they did disagree on what was cheating in Jenga or something like that. But uh, that's a that's a old nothing burger of an argument. But here are my thoughts and notes on that vlog in particular. She got some new pants. I'm actually currently not wearing any pantalones because I got a bunch of pants from Woman Within, which is where I get my pants at. I literally just have tons of pants that are exactly the same, but wearing them so often, I get holes in them, whatever it may be. So I literally bought five more of the exact same pairs they are really long, as you can see. But I just have to cut them. Yay, I'm so happy. And when she says new, she really means like the same pants as she always gets, the same exact pair. She just buys 20 of them at a time or something like that. This is not news to me. I knew that she had lots of the same pair of pants. What is news to me, and maybe we did know this and I've just like, filed that away somewhere in my brain of like, you don't need this information anymore so it doesn't take up space. But like, have we always known that she cuts her pants because she can't get them long enough? I mean, I get that that's an issue actually for a lot of people. Like shorter people have troubles finding pants that are, are their length and have to get them tailored and hemmed and things like that often. And like, if you're tall like me, sometimes it can be hard to find pants long enough. So I get it, there's no shame there. I'm just like, girl, you're really just buying these like cheap <laughs> pants from Woman Within over and over and over again and cutting them with your own scissors every single time. Like, I, I wish there were options for her that she could like invest in that were higher quality, but I'm sure that's like difficult when you're her height and her size and weight and everything like that. We also get a weight loss clinic update. So, new update. Remember yesterday when I called and then they told me, you know, go to the website, watch the seminar. Da, da, da. So, last night I did watch the seminar and I learned some stuff. I didn't learn much because majority of it I already knew. But this place just seems so warm and welcoming and I don't know, I got to learn more about this actual weight loss clinic and stuff like that. So when you're done watching it, you get to fill out this thing and then they send it off and then within 24 hours they email you, I guess like a patient packet or something like that. They still haven't emailed me, I've been patiently waiting, I have checked my email like I've been just like obsessed with checking it so I could fill out the paperwork, send it to them, get the ball rolling because I'm just like super excited. Like I really want to go there, have an appointment, see everyone I need to see, see what they think, how much it's going to cost. Just like, I don't know. So that is the update. And of course she didn't learn much because she, she knows more about weight loss surgery than y'all do. She didn't learn anything from it. Not a whole lot from it, okay? And she hasn't received any follow-up since doing the little seminar situation type of deal. So, uh, you know, that this was a, once again, a, a nothing burger of an update. We we learned absolutely nothing more because she's not actually anywhere yet on this journey to get weight loss surgery. But of course she's so excited to start something new because that's, that's what she does. She gets excited about starting something new, but never like the follow through, never the finishing of it. So of course we're gonna continue to hear her be excited about this, but we'll see what happens when it actually comes time to do anything related to actually getting weight loss surgery. And of course there was the regular old, we gotta open up a gift on camera, and it was Amber Lynn's turn and she got a shower steamer pack set situation type of deal. So maybe Shower Lynn era is coming back, maybe we can get another Shower Lynn tutorial. And sexy alert, sexy alert, sexy alert. 
We woo, we woo, we woo. In Berlin invites wifey to use them with her. Wait, I want to do the eucalyptus tonight. Eucalyptus tonight? Oh, hell yeah. You can join me. Okay. <laughs> She also weirdly uh, wants to eat the shower steamer and apparently vapo rub. Oh, I think I could eat it. Like I want to eat vapo rub. What? I licked it when I was a teenager. Yeah, I have this weird obsession with like the smell of like vapo rub and like I don't know what it is. Like I could go on um that addiction show. I'm not gonna eat it, but I want to. I just, I just, I. I just feel like, what else is there to expect? I think she actually has shared the vapor rub thing before. I remember thinking it was weird then, and I still think it's weird now. And a uh, little quirky Amberlynn is getting sandwiches with salami on them, even though they creep her out. So usually salami on sandwiches kind of gives me like the creeps. I don't know. Like I like the salami that you can cut and just eat by itself, but we'll see. I'll try it. Like, why are we ordering things if, we, if we're if we creeped out by the concept? And also, like, I think we can all agree salami on a sandwich is not a creepy concept. Like, girl is just doing the utmost. And because I'm sure y'all are, are expecting me to have opinions on it, Amberlynn does make another trip to the Dollar Tree to fill up some carts with donations to give to a homeless shelter. And I got a lot of grief well, not a lot, but I got some grief from Amber Lynn specifically, but also a few other people whenever I talked about her last rendezvous at the Dollar Tree to buy a bunch of donations for people uh, at a homeless shelter or to give to a homeless shelter specifically. And a lot of my critiques then were that one, just because things are cheap doesn't mean that they're good quality. And a lot of times places like homeless shelters get like lower quality things because that's just like what people want to give away or what people want to part with not necessarily like the the higher quality things that they would buy for themselves and a lot of people thought that that was me being like I don't know classist or rude and things like that and that's not the case at all I'm just making a point and let me preface this with saying that in college I was in a service fraternity one semester I was the vice president of service which meant I coordinated all of our service efforts and I worked with places like shelters and places that took donations and so I learned a lot about what those places need and things like that. Also, when I worked at my last college, one of my responsibilities was maintaining the campus food pantry. And so I myself have experienced directly overseeing something like this, like a, a food pantry. Uh, we also took uh, donations of like toiletries and things like that as well. So I have a little bit of experience when it comes to working with organizations like this and or doing the work myself. And of course, most of these places are happy to get donations in any form, quality. I'm just saying that a lot of people only donate stuff that they wouldn't necessarily use themselves. And Amber Lynn stated that she would be happy to use items from the Dollar Tree and I love that for her. I also just want to preface that I think it's important to talk to these places. The last time Amber Lynn did this, there were a lot of things in her cart that I'm like, I don't know that realistically a homeless shelter is going to have anything to do with this. And a lot of shelters and places that take donations often get bombarded with donations that they can't even use because the people didn't reach out and ask, hey, what do you need? What types of donations are you looking for or taking right now? In this case, in this video, it seemed like Amber Lynn and Wifey were picking more practical items that I feel like could more realistically be used by the shelters. But I guess I just want to say that as a preface to anybody else who's planning on donating to any organizations this time of year. I also really recommend like if you can just giving money to those places instead especially if you're just going out and buying the stuff anyways. I think it's one thing if you have extra stuff on hand that you are looking to uh, pass on to be used in a better place but if you're just gonna go out and bunch of, buy a bunch of stuff anyways sometimes it's better to just donate directly to the organization that you're working with so that they can figure out how to best use that money for the things that they need the most. Now, of course, that doesn't look as great on paper, or by paper, I mean in a vlog on Amberlynn's channel, 
but it is usually more helpful to them to get that directly. But based just on what she showed us, it's hard to say how much communication she has or hasn't had with the specific homeless shelter she's donating to. I'm hoping that she actually looked at what they needed and got things based on that but it's hard to say based on just what she showed us. And it looks like in today's video, she'll actually be going to the homeless shelter and donating it. So maybe we'll get more insight on that today. And that's just about all I have to say about that video. There were some other things that happened. Of course, she did all the advent calendars and things like that. I just don't have a lot to say about it. So I think it's time that we move on to today's reaction. And today's video is called Cook Chili With Me, Traveling Plans, and Homeless Shelter Tree Vlogmas Day 8. <laughs> and I love, I love the world of recycled content. I'm so glad we're going to get to watch her cook chili for like the 1200th time on her channel. As you probably know, I have made her chili actually twice on my channel. It was one of my first big Amberlynn Reed videos I ever made, and I did it again like a year or two ago as well, whenever I lived in my last apartment. So if you want to go check those out, you can probably search that on my channel and find those videos <laughs> to watch. But I'm excited to watch her make it again! I'm so excited! <laughs> <laughs> but here we are, here we are. So, let's get to, let's get to, shall we? Okay, immediately, this very first frame, I am so intrigued by, because it's literally Wifey's finger pointing at Amberlynn, and I am just like, what could possibly be coming? Oh, baby. Uh-uh, don't Hello, be... welcome to baby. the Baby, baby, don't pick her nose, baby. Day eight. Jingle bell, jingle bell. <laughs> Sing for me, baby. Baby. <laughs> baby. Okay, so we're starting <laughs> off with Feline pulling oh. stuff out of my face. Oh. Okay. When I was in high school, my friend noticed in newspaper class, random fact, and I was part of newspaper. And um, newspaper class, random fact, all these random facts that aren't, aren't really random at all. I just, I told y'all, that's my recent, my recent annoyance with her. Like, I just can't stand when she says that for some reason. Give me a moment situation type of deal all day, every day. But when she's just like, a oh, random fact about me. It's not random. <laughs> and sometimes it's not even a fact, honestly. Um, my last year of high school, I was the advice column. Yes, I was. Ah! <laughs> so I gave advice. <laughs> paper. And so we were sitting Imagine. in the class, right? And she Imagine. Like, you have this long hair sticking out of your face. Imagine even in high school thinking Amberlynn would, <laughs> would be somebody you would want advice from. Can I pull it out for you? I said, sure, because the people pleaser that I am, I didn't want to say no. So it always grows back. And the what? way that I always find it. What grows is back? I put a little bit of what? The good old mascara. What? On this. what? I'm going to take a picture so I can post it here so you guys can see Wait, better. what? Wait. Celine's about to pull it out of my face. You have a long hair on your face? So in the photo you're seeing right now. I see. That line on my face is a long piece of hair. All right, ready, baby? And Switch it's like away. attached to your, your skin on your face. <laughs> this is so funny to me. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm giggling over this so much. It's just hair. It's just a little hair. Sorry. Oh, that's so satisfying. <laughs> uh, Did you get it? Everything I needed. Is it on your finger? Yeah. Uh, 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 All right, okay. let's see. Is it better? Can you see She's it? She's gone, folks. Oh, thank and you. Thank you so much for the before and after. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's the photo you're seeing now. So it is time to open the next gift. For let's Pauline. fucking what go. <laughs> you're always shaking. I don't remember what that is. No way. I swear I do not remember. 
What is it? Oh yeah. Wait, what is it? Something else that you wanted. Re remember, remember, baby, you wanted this. Remember. <laughs> she she acts she acts really so surprised every time Amber Lynn says like like oh you wanted this and she like clearly in this situation has no idea what this is but maybe maybe you can't tell from this box I I would think maybe you'd recognize that logo or something is that a controller it looks like a controller to me it's a new controller for the switch because you said you wanted one like that but this one is supposed to look really cool once it's on it like crackles but like, it's like colorful in the cracks. The whole thing is supposed to do that. I gotta plug it up. Oh, but yeah, that's what the whole thing is gonna look like with the color in the back. Oh my God. This is my controller officially? Yep. It's officially yours. This is officially mine. I don't know if Wifey just doesn't have any emotion or capabilities of showing emotion, but the, the juxtaposition of like, Amber Lynn nearly creaming herself with every gift she gets from Wifey, but Wifey just having literally the same level of emotion for everything is fascinating <laughs> to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kitty treats. A little fuse. There you go. Yes, she's on the counter, but that's what cleaning is for. This is her home too. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, <laughs> this is her home too. So that's that means it's okay for her to be on the counter. Are you and wifey on the counter frequently? Are you are you putting your feet on the counter frequently? <laughs> they probably are on the counter doing something or another sometimes, or maybe wifey is. I don't know. I, I'm trying to picture Amber Lynn up there too, but it just I'm not seeing that vision. But also, I mean, I know so many people are like, I let my cats on the counter all the time, blah, 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 blah. That's fine. That's okay. I mean, there's also a reason I don't have cats because I would not. But <laughs> I guess, I guess really the only reason I even pause to say anything is just that her logic and reasoning is like, well, it's Rarity's house too. She should be able to be on the counter. It's just like, you're not, you're not walking on the counter with your dirty feet, are you? where you eat, where people eat, where you prepare food. All right, okay, bestie. So I'm actually just going through my emails right now. Oh, and okay. I've been just like waiting for the weight loss clinic to send me the registration packet or whatever. I hope they keep edging her. <laughs> I hope they keep edging her. And I realized that they did send it to me. It just was in the wrong file. So oh, I wasn't damn. in the right area. My hopes are crushed <laughs> my candy crushed y'all still playing candy crush no <laughs> my hopes crushed ruined but i'm about to fill out the registration perfect so that is the update on that wow I don't thank know you if, like once they get it they're gonna call me and can, then like schedule an appointment can we just wait until you have actual news to keep talking about this freaking weight loss clinic. Like, can we wait until, like, you got something actually substantial? It's gonna have to be, like, a whole moment. I'm thinking I want an appointment in, like, January. Well, girl. Because it is out of state. You're, you're thinking? I make, like, a whole day of it. It's you're thinking you want. <laughs> You're thinking that's not how that works probably. I mean, I guess maybe, but what if what if they're booked until March, you know? Like I'm thinking idealistically, I would just love to like go on a little trip in January. Like <laughs> Like this is a vacation for you? It's a connecting state, so I won't have to drive too far. But okay. between getting there and then coming home and then uh -huh. like the actual appointment. It's probably gonna take a good 16 hours. So we might Damn. actually stay in a hotel. Um, but yeah. Damn. But as you guys know, I don't Damn. Know. So that's so fascinating to me that that's like the place she's going when I know, for instance, that I'm pretty sure Dr. Eric Smith from 1000 Pound Sisters 
is in Lexington. I think he's in Lexington. He's for sure in Kentucky, but maybe that's not where she wants to go, <laughs> you know? I'm just like, surely there are options in the state of Kentucky. And also very confusing because how does that, I mean, I really don't understand health insurance outside of like how it applies to me, but like, how does that work then when she's talking about like the state of Kentucky doesn't do weight loss surgery or whatever? Maybe that doesn't matter. That probably doesn't because your insurance can probably cross state borders, right? I don't know. Whatever. I'm just so fascinated that it's not in Kentucky. So, Feline will be taking me because she's wonderful and just so supportive through this whole thing, but she works a lot, so um, we have to plan in advance. Well, right, it yes. It is in a different state, That's... but I feel like it's going to be totally worth it. Um, but I'm about to fill out the registration, folks. Let's... So, this is like Let's a long go. process. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> and I think the reason why I am sharing so much with you guys uh, during this whole thing is because I am doing Vlogmas. And coincidentally, this is the time where I am doing all this like weight loss surgery stuff. So, well, first of all, one, are you really sharing that much information? Like, really? Like, again, like I said, it's been a whole lot of nothing that you've shared so far. But two, literally the video I just watched yesterday, the one that I did a recap at the beginning of this, I didn't include this in the recap, but she said one of the reasons that she wanted to talk so much about her weight loss surgery journey or whatever is because if she's successful, her words, not mine, she wants to be able to come and look back on it. But now she's saying, well, I'm just really sharing a lot about this because it's Vlogmas. I mean, maybe it's both. <laughs> maybe it's both, but like, that's literally such a different energy than what you just said yesterday. Obviously, you guys are gonna be hearing about it, hearing about it because I am filming every single day. Yeah, I'm about to fill that out and it looks like it's um, quite a bit of questions. So, let me go do that. Oh, I'm going to be cooking some chili and I'm gonna dice some let's, onion. Let's fucking this go. Dicer for onion. Amazing. Like, I was spoiled on that because I can't remember who tweeted it. And if I can find the tweet again, I will, I will share it. But she really did used to have one of those back in the, the Destiny era, I think. So when I said the other day on the YouTube live stream that she's like, kind of given Destiny era vibes. I guess we're like fully just going in on the Destiny era vibes. But she did used to have one of those to the point that Destiny, I think, if I recall, and this is what the tweet said too, to the extent that like Destiny was like, stop wasting vegetables by just dicing them because you're not eating them. You just want to use this stupid gadget. It has drastically changed my life. It takes two seconds. To cut some onion now. Yeah, show you wait. Guys. Maybe that's why the person tweeted about it. Why is she trying to act like she's never heard of this shit before in her life? <laughs> like, oh my god, this life saving tool. Yeah, you used to have one, you silly. So you take your onion. The tutorial of it all. You just do that. It is a little loud. Y'all. Y'all also remember when she used to give the big old chunks to Becky so that Becky could pick them out? <laughs> She's like, I gotta do big chunks so Becky can pick them out because Becky doesn't like onion. That's okay. Oh my God. So. Oh, your hands smell like onion. Oh! I hate when my hands smell like onion. Well. I'm just gonna add the onion. On my chalkboard, it still says Vlogmas Day 6. Oh, That's because of laziness. It sure is. Once again, I'm gonna remind everybody, because I said this in the YouTube live stream too. When you see stuff like that, and you see like old stuff in the background and stuff, I know, I know it's so tempting to fall into the world of like conspiracy theories when it comes to Amberlynn Reed. But always remember, before you get too far into a conspiracy theory, that Amber Lynn is just lazy, okay? <laughs> Amber Lynn is lazy. And a lot of the things that you are attributing to a conspiracy theory, it's probably more likely that she was just being lazy. All that's in here right now is onion and some oil. This isn't a recipe by no means. It, it isn't? Because I suck at that anyhow. Uh, so, so what would you call it then? I'm just gonna use some ground turkey. Ooh, 
garlic salt, pepper. I'm gonna add the like chili seasoning and the important stuff towards the end. Not the end, but once I have all the goods in there. Gonna add some minced garlic. So usually my chili is like a chili soup. Right. But I wanna try making it less soupy this time. It's usually a soup. I, I, I would also struggle to call it a chili, really, outside of like using kind of similar ingredients. It's usually just a soup, which like sometimes I consider chili a soup, but it's like a thick soup for sure, for sure. I mean, I've given all this commentary before, ain't none of this new. So I drain and rinse my beans. Beans. I'm gonna use two kidney beans. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna fall over, girl. Why are you balancing it right there? I have so much anxiety. Why are you? And why? Use, why are you putting it on the sink divider? I'm so stressed the fuck out. Use one can of black beans. The meat is. Wait, why were there fountain soda container cups in the in the sink? Why are those in there? The meat is almost done, and then I'm gonna add everything else. I'm gonna add a little bit of chicken broth some tomato juice, the chili seasoning packet, some tomato sauce, and some diced tomatoes. I'm gonna add the beans. I'm gonna add some of the tomato sauce and juice. Chicken broth. This just adds a little bit of really good flavor in my opinion. Some diced tomatoes, and then the chili packet. And then I just like to add more seasonings if it needs it, like cayenne pepper, cumin, whatever it may be really. So this is what she looks like. She still has a good 30 minutes on the stove though. She's looking real soupy, Amber Lid. You're, do you're doing a great job making it thicker. Feline is making some cornbread. Oh, okay. They're using the honey cornbread by Krusty's. I do like a is that crust? I guess that is crusties. Anyways, I do like a cornbread. And already, folks, I have added more chicken broth. More, <laughs> more chicken broth? You said I want it. I want it less soupy. I'm gonna try to make it less soupy, but let me have more liquid. Perfect, perfect, good, good, good. I just feel my old self saying how I kind of want it soupy. <laughs> Plus, there's a lot of seasonings. I don't want it to be too seasoning, meeny, meeny. Plus what? Like soups a lot. So. What? <laughs> what do you mean you don't want it to be too seasony? Like that's what chili is. Chili is flavor. Like it'll be okay. Okay, you guys. So the chili is complete. Uh huh. I don't know why I tried to show you like right. that, but so here is the chili. You know what? She tastes phenomenal. She does. She does look a little thicker than normal, and I have to say also, I think this looks less fucking ridiculous because she didn't put a bunch of weird ass vegetables in it. You know, the very first time I made it, I put in zucchini because that's what she put into it, right? <laughs> And I think the last time I put some kind of vegetable in it. I know there are mushrooms and I don't I don't normally make things with mushrooms because I don't personally like mushrooms, but I think I did that time. And there was something else I can't remember, but this doesn't seem to have any weird vegetable in it. I think mushroom isn't that weird, okay, for the record, for a chili. But like, yeah, interesting, interesting. And this looks much better than her other chili moments. And then the cornbread. This uh, is my mistake. I took it out of the little pan sheet situation uh -huh. type deal messily, and it kind of just that's cold. fine. I'm I fucking excited. love cornbread. And obviously, it's something satisfying because you cooked it yourself. It's not takeout. I do order takeout. You, you know? sure do. Lie. You sure do. Well, you just got Jimmy John's in that video yesterday. So like to do my random concoctions. Mmm, so good. Please. Sometimes I eat it with Fritos, but I'm gonna try it with cornbread this time. Oh my God, this is gonna slap. Is that it? Oh, so good. Oh, so good. It's not even normal how good it is. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> like, I don't understand why she took such a big bite of the cornbread on that spoon. <laughs> 
<laughs> and or why this the cornbread was just marinating in the chili, but live your truth. It was so good. I, I it was worth it. I want to make a bowl for everybody who's watching. Come on, and like come on like over. Come on over. Forty thousand bowls. Come mm -hmm. on over, come on over, baby. Bring your chili, bring your chili, baby. You did that. I did that. <laughs> that was a lot, and that was funny. I did that. I did that. Yes, I did. <laughs> Feline is currently filming. She's a vlogger now, folks. Filming She's a what? <laughs> filming what? Oh, she's got the camera right now. Oh, I thought she was going to start her own channel or something. <gasps> oh! Oh! This is the most of wifey we've ever seen. We, we're seeing the head. We're, we're, we're seeing the hair. Oh, just wasabi. Just move, move, move just a little bit, wasabi. Oh, we are getting closer and closer to a wifey face reveal every, every day, every minute, every moment. Okay, so we are about to go to the homeless shelter. Let's fucking go. Oh, it's so dark now. Well, I know the answer to that. I kind of wish you'd stop trying to make this coat happen. It's just, it's just not a cute coat, in my opinion. It's like 55 degrees, which isn't bad. Alrighty, got my jacket, my purse. Okay, so we arrived and we gave them the stuff and they were so sweet and appreciative. Great. This is actually a different homeless shelter than the one that I've already donated to. This one's like a lot smaller, but they were so kind and appreciative. Wonderful. If you can help in any way, definitely do it. Um, this I'm time of year, they definitely need socks and things just to keep them warm and obviously hygiene products always like toilet paper, sure. um, toothpaste, etc. Sure, et cetera. sure, sure. But also, like I said, make sure to check with the places you're donating and see what they really they need because that will be most helpful. I'm guessing she's saying that because she, I'm assuming the best and I'm guessing she's saying all that because that's what they told her they needed and she's not just saying what she thinks they need. I'm assuming the best and assuming that she had that combo, but you know, your shelter or the places in your community might need different things. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to make it very clear. I just feel like it's very inappropriate if I was to film them, give it to them, or anything like that. Okay, so. <laughs> okay. We just got All right. <laughs> well, then, what's the point of including it? Period. I mean, I get, I get what you're saying. I get what she's saying. But I'm just like, you could have also just said, "Hey, I did that. You know, I, I, I took it." That was a nice little outing. Do you guys ever like leave the house and then not want to come back home? You're like, I don't want to be home. Literally me right now? Mm, no, cause I go I go out on a regular basis all the time. <laughs> no, I've never I've never had that thought really. Where's my phone? Oh. Oh, I love that she was yeah. checking her boobulas. It's in my purse. My purse. Cause she does sometimes store her phone in her boobulas. So, yeah, you guys. This I blurry fucking this camera. Try to guess the price. Uh, cheap. So I got it from Target. Probably fifteen dollars. Only thirty-five dollars. Oh. Thirty-five. <laughs> okay. All right, work, diva. To me, that's cheap. Okay. I'm actually about to snack on some. Fuck beef yes. Jerky. Wait, you're telling me you didn't have your beef jerky for your for your road trip snack? You remember when she used to get in the car and have beef jerky for her car ride snack all the time? I think I want to. My next little reading moment. I. I've been slacking on reading, like it's pretty bad. VZ Andrews has some very interesting storylines. They're very uh, out there. I like the other stuff. The stuff that people has not heard about. The stuff that people has not heard about, besties. <laughs> I don't want to hear about your books, if I'm being honest with you. I'll probably cut a lot of this out. So, I did read this series. I don't think I read the third one. But this is the Gemini series. So I'm actually going to be going in pretty much blind because I don't remember a single thing. Um, so if anyone wants to join me, this is Celeste. No. Nobody wants to join you in reading these books because the last time you tried to do a book club, you quit. You quit after like three days of it, four days of it. Nobody nobody wants to relive that. You didn't follow through the last time, Amberlynn. I think I'm actually gonna start the first one tonight. I could do random little updates for people who no. want to follow along. No, we don't. I just think it's that time, folks, that I I give her a good read. Um, I love V. Sanders. Just 
a very interesting plots that keep me intrigued. That is what I need. All right, it is time for Oh, TV. thank God. I've missed the Play-Doh. <laughs> I've missed the Play-Doh. Play-Doh advent calendar. This is like 10 minutes of just calming activity, which I love. Now we're getting there, folks. What? I've already made a reindeer because I was creative. Because you were creative. <laughs> You are so creative, Amberlynn. Nobody else was thinking about making reindeers like you were. Uh, of doing it my own way. For those asking or theorizing, I'm not the little purple guy. No. From no. day one. Is Nobody was asking or theorizing. We knew. the The whole world knew. Children would know what to do with the purple rolling pin. Like, nobody was wondering except you. It's a roller. That's what Feline thought, so. Yeah, see, I don't want to follow instructions. I just want to do my own thing. I already have done a reindeer oh like twice God. now. So here is my creation for oh. the day. <laughs> oh, you are so creative. You made, you didn't want to make another reindeer, but you will give us your 1200th snowman. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I decided to do a snow reindeer. It looks pathetic. What a flop. Well, it still says day four. Girl, I noticed that three days ago. Let's change it, bestie. Literally the end of the night. But better late than never. Uh, I guess. All right, folks. At this point, just put tomorrow's day on it. You guys, one of my most favorite snacks lately has been whole cashews. I do love a cashew. That is salted with sea salt. I like. I do me love a cashew. Obsessed. Hi, here is a deer. Okay. <laughs> Um, Why? A deer named Coco. Coco is his name, okay? All right. This is also from, like, I have this this photo, this screenshot saved on my desktop because I used it in a video. But this is from, like, day two or three of Vlogmas, something like that. I don't understand why we're looking at this right now. No, this is editing, Lynn. Um, you're about to see comment of the day. Uh -huh. But for some reason, I guess I didn't press record when I actually filmed the comment. Okay. I didn't press record when I responded okay. to the comment. So the comment was something about how my jacket didn't fit me or whatever. Uh, which which is why she showed herself zipping it up today. You you can bet on that. I don't know. But here is my response. Hey. Bestie, why are you borking? You're fine. It does close. It is a little snug, but it does close. I don't really like wearing it closed. It depends on if it's raining or not. Okay. Um, it was a little rainy today, so that's why I had it closed. Work. And that vlog that you're talking about, the reason why it was open is because it wasn't raining, but then it started raining, so then, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I couldn't matter. get a size 6 if I didn't like how it fit me, but I actually really like how it fits me. So, Great. anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I will see you in my next one. Sure. Bye. Besties, I have a feeling I'm cutting a lot out of that vlog. You know, most of the days so far, even when it's been kind of like boring, I've found things to be entertained by. But there was a lot today that I just simply wasn't like, why did we rehash how to make that chili again? You know what I'm saying? Like we've done that how many times now? How many times? And it wasn't, it wasn't fun, fancy, interesting, new. It was nothing. It was not interesting. I did not, <laughs> I didn't love it. I didn't love it, but you know what? I'm here for all of it. I'll watch it everything, okay? I, I will make time for you, Amberlynn, because, you know, even, even when I'm watching the reality TV, sometimes there's episodes that just don't hit the same. That Sometimes there's a boring episode here and there, and that's fine, and I come back to the next one. So you got me. I'll be back. Well, I'll be back on Monday, probably with a recap of your weekend, but I'll be back is the important message, okay? All right. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you're brand new, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. And also make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all of my social media. I had so much fun today, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!